All right, Matt fam, in the review room, we are taking a look at NECA's 1990 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The big boys, these are the uh, quarter scale figures. And then we have the recently released six inch GameStop exclusives. And this line is continuing with a foot soldier coming out next. And then the shredder after. And I'm hoping for Splinter. And I know a lot of fans want Casey Jones as well. But the first thing I want to say is these are an absolute work of art. They, they each kind of have a one-up on the other one. Like the big boys have that, that tiny extra touch of detail. If you can take a look at the skin, I want to put a little bit of natural light on these. But if you take a look at the skin, you can kind of see the certain pattern. That little bit of detail and the eyes and the face, there's just a little extra crisp to the paint and the sculpt work on the big boys. But when you get down to the little ones, they are missing that scaly look on the paint, but they make up for it with the paint style. That would be something that you wouldn't, you wouldn't notice. It wouldn't be something that you'd be missing unless someone pointed it out to you, or you put them next to each other and did a comparison really up close with your eye. But the little ones make up for that with a little bit better articulation. It's not just better, it's easier as well. I mean, especially the head movements up and down, you're gonna get better articulation. The type of material they use for uh, the figure's fingers, they're a lot softer, so you can actually put the weapons in their hands a certain way a lot easier than you can the big boys. The big boys are pretty stiff, the material all around. On top of that, the ankle articulation, I think the ankle articulation is friggin' incredible for these little guys. And this is very important when you do some, you know, uh, ninja stances or any type of fighting stances and you need their legs spread apart. They have a certain type of articulation in the, in the thigh where you can get some rotation and then they got a double joint in the leg and a double joint in the arms that's easier to uh, manage than with the big ones. So I think that's the, the biggest difference. Big ones have that slight crisp look with the eyes especially and then the skin, that little bit of extra detail that you can put in bigger figures and then the little ones make up for that with the articulation and just how incredible they were able to capture the likeness of these turtles of these of the four brothers in such a small figure it, they are just incredible i don't have any other words than that and each one comes with a bandana that rests to the side it's hard you can pull it out and then there's a different version that will rest to the opposite side. So if you wanted to take Michelangelo's other bandana, you would pop it in and it would rest over his left shoulder instead of his right. Uh, right now it's on his, rest, uh, on his right. It would rest on his left if you changed it out. And then uh, the big ones have material. So that's pretty much the only difference. But as far as articulation, I don't want to mess around with them too much because you can find a thousand videos. I'm sure probably a lot of you already watched them, but these guys are rough. Everyone's got videos doing the articulation on these, uh, but they're really rough. The material here is stiff when you're bending the arms. If you hit them with a blow dryer and bend the arms, you can get a little more movement. Uh, the legs crack and pop on purpose because you need extra support to hold these heavy figures. So you're going to have really stiff movement in the articulation and again that's something you want to keep these figures these figures have been in this stance in my room for a year on the uh i think behind me i had them on display for my videos and then now they're actually on the display behind my monitor so this is what i see when i'm editing my videos these and then the predators above them and whatnot so um you definitely want that, but with the little ones, they have a softer, more forgiving material, which makes it a lot easier to uh, get them in certain poses and uh, just have them on your desk. Right now, these little ones are going to go on my office desk, so I got the, the big ones behind me while I'm editing and the little ones uh, right behind my keyboard. 
And I grew up with these guys. I know this was one of the first movies I remember going to the theaters to see it, believe it or not, when I was, uh, shit, I don't even know, six? <laughs> I know it was so sold out, and my mother took us at the last minute, and there was two seats available, and there was three of us, and me and my brother were immediately, like, brokenhearted. I mean, just crushed. So my mother bought us each a separate seat. We had to sit far apart from each other. Me and my brother went into the theater. We sat with strangers. They were actually pretty cool. Uh, they gave us popcorn and stuff. They understood because my mother walked us up to the seat and she talked to them. They were real cool. And then she waited outside f for the whole movie, pacing back and forth, <laughs> making sure no one stole us and uh, made sure we saw the movie. I know that might seem reckless today, but it's a memory that I'll never forget. And I absolutely sat there with my face glued to the screen as a six or seven year old kid just living it up and uh, i loved the the ninja turtles growing up when i was a kid so i had the turtle toys as a matter of fact i think the only remaining toys that i have when i was a kid are four turtles uh, those and i don't know maybe like a joker laying around i never kept anything once i hit a certain age i just kind of left and i think my brother had them and he gave them to me when uh, I moved down south. But uh, here's Raph. The different arms, the different hands, I should say, that they give you for these, uh, they're just incredible. The detail. You could put his size in his belt. All the other turtles have slots for their weapons as well. Well, Mikey, you kind of just put it on him. Donnie, same thing. You kind of just put it on him. But Raph has a little scar here that is, like I said, for the finer detail. See how you can make it out. But on the quarter scale figure, you can see that clear as day. Uh, I'm going to get in, in the way of the light here, but you can see that clear as day. So this is a tricky one. I got to say the quarter scale figures are worth every penny when it comes to having that likeness and it lights up a room. Look how huge they are. When someone walks into this room, they notice it. And I've had a few people, I had a, I've had a few visitors come into my office and they think these guys are, you know, three, $400 pieces for each one. And they're not, they're a hundred bucks a pop. I think Mikey's on Amazon right now for 90 bucks free shipping. You got to watch. He's bouncing up and down. But yeah, $90 free shipping, that's a steal. I mean, it's worth for the the sculpt that went into these. It, these are art. It's so different than what I buy my daughter to play with. She has a few Ninja Turtles that she got for Christmas to play with. And if you compare these with those, it is night and day. And they're almost the same price. I think her her turtles I bought her were 15 bucks or $14 a piece. They may be a little cheaper. They may be like $13. And uh, these are 22 bucks. So for $10 more, they look like Ninja Turtles that were ripped from the screen probably the same size came right out of your tv screen and here they are you have um, this isn't really a figure review it's kind of just a an opinion of these and a comparison if you want my opinion for the quarter scale because i own the um six inch right here and then i have the quarter scale i've i've owned those for a year now uh, look at the size of, of Mikey's sword. It's, <laughs> it's massive compared to the turtles now. But uh, I think that would be the biggest thing. The detail, and I haven't had a single one of these fall down in over a year or give me any problems. But the detail and the crisp art and paint would have to be uh, the biggest plus, 100% for the quarter scale turtles and then when it came to the six inches i would say they are a must-have there's just something about the size and um i don't know something about how they look in this size they are just freaking amazing <laughs> and again that articulation and they're easier to display like I said, you could walk over and throw them on your desk. You could throw them behind you on the shelf. You can take them out to your kitchen, put them, put them uh, above your coffee machine, you know. And the boxes, it's pretty much the same. Here's a quarter scale box. Look how friggin' huge that is. Move this light out of the way. 
and then here is a six inch box that's what an ninja turtle will come in and then the side has the characters on them which is friggin awesome the other side has the same side as the original box and then the back has something neat this is the original box art for the movie but on the back of the little box they recreate it with the actual toys which is well done that's really well done the i think these are selling and then the top is the same i think these are selling so well they could probably get away with re-releasing -re these with some type of uh i don't know even a different face sculpt i mean the fans seem to be eating these up they're loving them but next is Sh uh, shredder and he looks out friggin standing even the foot soldiers they do come with different arms i should say different hands here's one of mikey's other hand i'm sorry raf here's one of raf's psi holding hands uh, he's got an extra bandana and it just pegs in the back and it rests on him i believe you can actually kind of take the bandana depending on how you had him set up and if you have him doing a kick, you could just lift the bandana to make it look like he's, uh, um, you know, the bandana's in mid-flight or something. I don't know. I prefer because it's molded to rest right on his shoulder. And then the other bandana will rest on that shoulder. I, I'm good with just that. And then same thing with Donnie. Donnie comes with different hands. They all come with a slice of pizza. I think Leo has these really cool, really cool um, stance hands. I don't know what else to call them. I'll show you in a second. And then, obviously, to hold his swords. What I mean before is I, I kind of had him in a stance where he had his hand out, like he was telling you, you know, you come over here, I'm probably going to chop your head off. But I really would dig i'll be honest i really would dig getting and this is mikey's thumbs up i really would dig a custom or a customizer who's really good at painting realistic paint and having a very gory blood splatter version of the turtles for some reason a rated r ninja turtles that's like a dream come true but a 1990s version or at least a modernized 1990s version you know <laughs> uh, but yeah that's a little thumbs up compared to the big one and you can see what i mean just here alone based on the yeah see that based on the um the detail that they they were able to get in those bigger figures i haven't had any problems with the the nunchuck rope they have a rope on the little one it looks like there there's some type of glue or something on top of them because they're really hard these are just straight material right here and I haven't had problems with those either. But. Yeah. I, there's nothing else to say. These guys are incredible. They are a work of art. The sculptor who did these. I think it's one guy too. I remember someone tagging. I don't want to say the wrong name. But somebody tagged one guy. And said he was the sculptor for these turtles. It was in someone's bio on like Instagram and he did just an amazing job. Absolutely amazing. Everyone who sees these, it's like they can't believe someone would make a toy this, just this detailed. I don't know. There's just something in the work that was put into these. There's just something there. Man. That's that's art. That's craftsmanship, yo. I also wanted to give you an idea of what they would look uh, what they would look like height-wise next to a human figure from NECA. I believe the Dutch and, you know, Jason and Freddy and Michael Myers I believe those are all one straight size and damn correct me if i'm wrong they are all the same size ain't they and then the ninja turtles would uh 
would match up like this. I think the Ninja Turtles are a different size, though. I think they're 6-inch, and then Dutch and them are either 7-inch, uh, is it, or is it 6-inch? Eh, it might be 6-inch, but that's how they stack up against the Predators. Now, if I had to pick just one thing to add to these, I would have to say just maybe a little more articulation in the shoulders as a like a butterfly joint. Uh, because they are really good, except for there's just a little bit of friction when it comes to the shoulders. And I think these figures re would really benefit from some type of uh, butterfly joint. With the way these sell, I wouldn't be surprised if they kind of used softer material here, beefed up some of the articulation, and sold a deluxe in like 5 or 10 years. I wouldn't be surprised at all. Even if they did like a repackaging down the line because people are buying these up like crazy. I don't even think they can keep them stocked. I mean, I know they keep selling out online and restocking them. I don't know if that's to keep control of orders or what, but uh, so that way they don't get over, you know, they don't take more orders than they can ship at a time. Anyway, I have to re recommend both, the little and the big. There's just no definitive winner. There's just none. I mean, the, the positives here, the size, the way they pop. I mean, look at that. They, they draw your attention. They look amazing. Crazy detail. They display wonderfully. And then the little ones, the ease of where you put them, because these you got to really find room for them. They're heavy. Uh, they the articulation stiff, but they just look amazing. These guys, you could put them anywhere. The articulation is forgiving. The detail is still there. You don't have the super fine detail, but you have detail enough to where you don't even notice you're missing some of the the scale look on the skin, and the eyes just aren't all the way there. I've seen some eyes that were a little bit messed up. And even the bandanas, when they shrunk them down, they just lost a little bit of detail. But again, even with that, these are a highly recommend. If you grew up with the Ninja Turtles, or if you like the Ninja Turtles, whatever age you're, you're at, I know people that are going out buying these, sending me a message, being like, yo, I, I know you got some stuff in your office. I'm going to GameStop hunting these turtles down. And these are people that... They've never collected anything a day in their life, and they're hunting down Ninja Turtles at GameStop because of the way they look. And I don't blame them, because they look fan friggin -tastic. So, you guys wanted my thoughts and opinions? Well, I know some of you did. Maybe 10, 10 of you out there did. So, uh, go ahead and hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. What do you think of the NECA's 1990 Ninja Turtles? What do you think of Splinter coming out and Casey Jones and the Foot Soldier? Me personally, I would definitely, I think I need a quarter scale splinter. I'm sorry, shredder. I think I need him. He just looks so friggin' detailed. And I know we're going to lose some of that detail in the um, downsizing to the six inch figure of shredder. With that being said, I might even need the foot soldier too because of that detail. It's just, it's just insane. But I do need the smaller collection to grow bigger because it'll be more affordable adding a few foot soldiers adding shredder splinter down the line maybe casey jones but you guys put your thoughts and opinions in the comment box who do you want added next all right thanks for coming by the review room don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out